On a Friday in the middle of May 2011, Marissa's mother went, as she always does, to pick up her eight-year-old daughter from school. Except this time, the child was not there. The mother looked everywhere in and around the school but could not find Marissa. As the playground emptied and all the other children, parents and teachers went home, the mother began to panic. She called the police for help finding her daughter. They found Marissa with her father, who had been allowed only supervised visits due to a history of abuse against the mother and daughter, but this day was not a scheduled visit. The father's lawyer presented papers to the police which said the father now gets to keep the daughter. The police returned to the mother, who was still combing the school grounds for any sign of her daughter, and asked her whether she had a lawyer. When the mother answered that she didn't, the police informed her that because her ex-husband had a lawyer and she did not, there was nothing she could do to get her daughter back. A child and family investigator the court had appointed refused to consider hundreds of pages of evidence showing the father had a history of abusive behavior and concluded this was a case of parental alienation, that the mother was purposely trying to alienate the child from the father. A judge agreed and granted the father 100% custody. Marissa's mother cannot afford to fight for her child any longer. That is why we are asking for your help. Parental alienation is used unfairly in thousands of cases a year across the U.S. We need to take action. You need to take action.